going on, you stark raving lunatics? It is me, the Lunk Whisperer. Now, if you've been following me for a length of time, you know that I tell you what's going to happen chart. And I tell you before it happens. And then I leave my drawings on the chart so that you can see exactly what's happening. You can catch the lines and know when it's breaking out. And I don't know what you do with that, with that information. It's just my opinion uh, and what I see when I see the charts doing anything. And guess what? <sighs> We're right again. So uh, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. If you want to support me and you want to support this channel, you want to keep getting this life-changing information, you got to sign up for Terra Casino over here. you got to sign up at terraport.finance. Do some trading over there. Buy yourself some meme coins. It's a great place to do it. Great place to do some staking uh, or some yield farming if that's what you're interested in. But great places all together. Let's kick it off with the first thing first. All right, so uh, there is a September 19 hearing where we're going to really get the, 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 the litmus test on the finality of Terraform Labs. So um, this hearing is pivotal in shaping the future of the crypto company, which has encountered substantial hurdles since the Terra ecosystem's collapse. Now, we already know that's not really the, the case. There's just the claim holders and the people and how the funds are going to be distributed. The rest of it, Terra is dead. Terraform Labs, done. Luna is going to be open sourced. Uh, it will be a community takeover and a lot of people from Luna might come to Lunk or something like that. So, you know, we shall see how this whole thing plays out, but you should know September 19 is going to be an important date. Now, the proposed plan for liquidation deadline is set for September 12 and September 16. So, uh, if you're part of that in any way, then certainly go check it out. Let's move on. Integrated rule set from Strathcole. Uh, Strathcole, if you know, uh, Galactic Shift. So integrated rule set for secure and inclusive Terra Classic 1 L1 development. And this is, I, I'm going to suggest that you read through this. I'm not going to go through the whole thing with you, but we're going to talk about this proposal aims to address the issues identified in the previous past KYC proposal and introduce additional safeguards while ensuring that everyone can contribute to the Terra Classic code base. So KYC requirements, which is going to be a little, you'll see right here, uh, only governance past KYC providers will be recognized for this process. To add an, an additional third-party KYC provider has to be approved via a governance proposal. The two are CERTIC and SolidProof.io. This proposal supersedes contri contribution rules from previous past KYC related uh, proposals. So um, when, when this comes up for a vote, and it will come up for a vote pretty soon, uh, there's been some conversation in this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, it's going to be 12033. That was the previously passed proposal. So uh, it's not up for governance yet, but it will be soon. And when it is, um, I would encourage you to vote. Again, go read it, figure it out for yourself and decide. Uh, let's move on to the price action and let's take that victory lap, guys. Uh, you guys saw what I told you, uh, that what we're looking for is a move here and then a breakout above. We should have coming forward another back test over here and then we should have a break. If we don't get a if we don't get a wick that takes us up here into nine right now, then uh, we should have a little breakdown right here, taking it back down here and then we'll get up here into this nine range and then that's where the exponential growth comes from, from there. Now, uh, zooming out just a little bit, getting a few uh, different chart pieces back here onto play. Then you're looking at an impulse move up into the tens. Uh, so dropping that zero becomes the next little kind of range right in here. That's the start of the next volume node. If you guys are looking right here, the, we're getting to the top of the volume node. And what that means, when you get to the top of the volume, this is where people are trading. This is where people are buying and selling, and uh, they're 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 buying here, they're selling here. This is where you get that you know, back and forth sort of uh, uh, range based trading, that sideways action, right? Well, we're getting to the top of it, which means that there's a little uh, area right here where there's no trade volume. What that means is that's where your impulse move comes from. So what I expect to see would be an impulse move up into that one range after we get done with this little consolidation in this range right here. Uh, I think that's where we come next. And then we probably consolidate at around three zeros 11. Uh, and, and this is not, this is proceeding any kind of big move that might be on the horizon. So uh, if you are um, looking for that next, and by the way, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to tell you exactly what is going to happen here. This is my opinion of what's gonna happen. Now, you might be noticing that I'm right quite a bit about it. Uh, it's just because the chart is predictable. I mean, there's nothing special about it that, that changes anything fundamentally. It's just that 
you know, I happen to I, I happen to understand this chart pretty well, or at least I, I apparently I understand the people who are trading the chart, if you will. That's uh, they're they're doing things a specific way, and I recognize it, and that's been fortunate for me. So anyway, um, I do expect to see some some move here uh, a little bit into this nine, and then a boom above that. Then we get that big breakout. So that's what I would think is going to happen in short order. How far this goes, I still don't know yet. Now, look, there's a lot of people talking about a lot of big price action and a lot of big moves all the way up here in the recent range at some point. And I do think that it's on the horizon. I do think that we're uh, getting towards that kind of stuff. Remember, we're talking about a repeg right now. We're talking about a bounty for a repeg. We're talking about a lot of different things in this ecosystem that could provide a spark and an impetus to take us to a whole new level. So uh, be paying attention to what's going on. Cookie up 15% on the day moving on. Uh, nothing really. You got future flare, uh, lunk pairing over here. Uh, looking like 162%. But again, you know, some of these just, you, you, when you look at the volume and the 24 hour trading and you look at, you know, all the pump and stuff that they get on these, you, yes, you know, um, you, you, you get a little bit, uh, it's, it's very small trade volume. If I, if I click on future flare, then look at this, a 1.7K market cap with a fair dollar value of 3.43K. Uh, so liquidity is $180. It's just, it's not a trade volume. It's people trying to launch meme coins and hoping for the best. So, you know, we're, we're not in that community, but you know, one thing that we should say is when you're looking at these memes and we're talking about all these memes, right? The most important part that you should recognize is what just happened in Tron a couple of days ago. Now, let me take you back in time here to a couple of days ago, we had TRX, Tron, that just absolutely started to rip, right? So Tron went, just had a nice big run. Uh, it had a, a, a move from this dip here at about 11 and a half, all the way up about 40% in a day. Now, if you're a billionaire like Justin's son, you know, you just made like three or four or five billion um, or if you cashed out, you three or four or five off of just that little impulse move. But then the underlying sentiment behind why this is happening is ironically, uh, the SEC, uh, it looks like the Tron will be closing out the case with the SEC uh, with no penalty, number one. And number two, that caused a little meme coin surge. And then all of a sudden people started buying meme coins on Tron and then boom, we started to get that big surge. Now, what did that lead to? Cryptonomy is giving away from $100 to $10,000 to participate. All you have to do is follow the three Telegram groups, follow Cryptonomy on X, and make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months to join the launch pool by August 20. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up today. Also, I'm making another move here. You guys know I've been a fan of API 3. Well, the granddaddy of API 3 should be considered to be Link. So I brought in 582 Link. I'm going to stake that right now for six months at a 29.6% yield. That's going to give me a pretty good increase. So I'm confirming I got my Link right now. I'm going to get about a 30% off of that and now the granddaddy of all this is the launch pool the launch pool is where it all happens i'm gonna use 0.4 bitcoin in the bronze package that's up to 5x returns and we're gonna hit the continue right here and we got a whole new contract guys try cryptonomy dance today that's how you earn yield uh, that led to uh, solana meme coins starting to dump and the price of solana meme going down so it is possible that luna classic gets its moment in the sun okay not the justin sun but, but the sun nonetheless. So it is possible that we see a shift into Luna Classic meme coins at some point pretty soon. So if you haven't already, you should at least sign up for coinhall.org and you know just be ready and be watching for some of these meme coins. You can see here, there's a lot of green in the market. So uh, how long before a move happened into this ecosystem? So uh, speaking of this, governance is 12.122. Does not look like it's gonna pass, by the way. Uh, 11 no's so far and only one yes. That was a large 5.1% yes. Uh, most of the smaller ones over here, um, these validators down here have already voted no. Small validators. And you got one no with veto uh, as well. So, you know, I'm not sure what the problem is with this and why they're voting no and not wanting to pay for the tax to gas implementation. Might be the wording, something like that. I don't see, you know, there's, there's no comments here uh, that would tell me, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's any kind of... Um, information on that so I'll, I'll look it up and i'll let you guys know tomorrow but again 
uh, you know, I don't know what this, you know, what's going on over here. As far as volume goes, volume's up a little bit on the day, but still pretty low. Uh, market cap is up 4.5% on the day, uh, pretty good. Uh, over here, 2.5% on the day, 2.6 million in volume. So we're getting some positive moves. And burns up to 244 million over the last seven days. Remember I told you, you know, we were struggling with the with the burns uh, coming back down, but you know, now Terra Casino's up to 380 million, separating itself from all nodes. All nodes who controls all of the validators can't seem to burn more than 344 million. Uh, so when it tells you who cares about this ecosystem and who does not care about the ecosystem, or at least the, the investors in the ecosystem, I, I shouldn't say that about all nodes, maybe they care about the ecosystem um, in, in some fashion, but uh, one of the things that is important is burns, right? To, to get the supply reduced and back down to a reasonable and manageable sort of level, and they're not contributing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, go to Terra Casino, by the way. Make sure you sign up. I told you that at the beginning of this. I'm telling you this again. You got to go to Terra Casino. You got to sign up. And if you're looking to trade meme coins, you got to come over here to Terraport and check it out. Also, if you want to earn, then go ahead and stake. There's only two slots available, uh, the 90-day and the 14-day. So uh, time is running out for you. So uh, if you're looking for it, then there's your place. Uh, if you want a yield farm, then you can set yourself up right now for some yield farming uh, the, and, and go with uh, each one of these liquidity pools right here. Uh, anytime they trade, you validate the network, you earn a little bit of yield off of it. So good opportunity for you right there. Uh, just make sure that you go for the ones with the good and the best value or with the biggest and best need for it. Uh, trite for the, like for example, Terra Tritium, this is FRAG, uh, USTC to Terra pairings. So there's a neat number of pairings over here that you can secure on this network by yield farming. Also, let's talk about, because we had this thing from, from Strathcole, let's talk about Strathcole, and that is Galactic Shift. Guys, if you haven't already, you gotta check out Galactic Shift. Uh, there's the white paper over here, you can connect your wallet. And of course, uh, I, I showed you a video of the game, but there are a lot of different things. Uh, the white paper basically tells you how to play the game. Um, it, you can, uh, the, the, the explanation is over here. So if you have not, I would encourage you to go ch check out galacticshift.io and, you know, contact them. See if you can get in on some kind of alpha or something like that and then get me in. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll learn how to play the game just for you guys. So, uh, if you haven't, check out galacticshift.io and that is because Strathcole is putting out a proposal. So, um, that's it guys. Uh, check out galacticshift.io, check out Terra Casino, check out terraport.finance. Uh, remember, Tron had that had that had that spectacular run in the last couple of days, and and that caused an enormous spike in activity, stuff like that. And guess what? Same thing can happen to Luna Classic at any time. Luna Classic that's now trading at 85, pumping again. Uh, it, look, I know you, you're you're going to tell me, oh, it's not pumping because I bought at two zero and three zero two. Or that's how it, when you say stupid stuff, I I say you talk in my head. Uh, but if you buy the bottom and sell the top, you're going to always be fine, right? Nobody. Um, that, look, just everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Uh, get yourself a bag of Luna classic. Don't want to look like a weirdo because it's going to explode. And when it does, your life's going to be changed. Not financial advice, but I'm always right.